Hey guys, it's been a while. I haven't shaved, but uh, yeah, just here to give you guys a little preface to what you're about to see. This is a basically an unboxing of an SSD, the 970 Evo Plus series from Samsung that I specifically got. It's a one terabyte SSD. I've been meaning to get this SSD for quite a while, saying that my PC, pre-built PC, only came with 480 gigabytes of SSD, but this SSD is a lot more faster, saying that it is an NVMe M.2. So it's the cream of the crop top of the line and you'll see me install the ssd into my pc and i'll just talk over it so hopefully you guys enjoy this if you haven't subscribed yet please make sure to subscribe we're currently at 175 subscribers and i'll see you in the video Whoa. goodbye okay getting right into it so we're as you can see i've already taken some stuff out and now i'm showing you the box the 970 evo plus nvme.2 from samsung a one terabyte cost me around 149 dollars and now as you can see i've already unplugged my sata ssd and my hard drive just to make sure that everything goes smoothly in the process uh, now you do have to do this when you're installing an ssd it's recommended at least from what i saw in guides uh, now i'm going to go on to the unboxing and it's quite a simple box it's quite a pleasant uh, presentation of what it is it's just basically a small little manual you also get the SSD itself. Now it's actually a bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. Ooh, now there it got, is. you got to take into consideration this is my first SSD install ever. Ooh. So it was the first time I was ever doing anything like this. I checked out a bunch of videos and uh, I, I honestly didn't expect it was going to be this small. I thought it was going to be a bit bigger, but not to worry. Now here's where I start installing it. Now as you can see, the graphics card and my hands just don't mis mix match. My hands are just way too big. So what I'm going to do here in a second is I'm actually going to take it out. And as you can see, I'm pointing at the M.2 slot and the little screw that I'm going to have to unscrew here and just a second now taking out the graphics card isn't too hard actually it's just two little screws on the left and you're also going to have a little clip on the back that you want to hold down now this is on most graphics card to make sure that it is securely on there so what you're going to do is just push down on that clip and it should just come out right out here i'm going to go ahead and install or place in the ssd the mvme and the mvme slot it's not too hard it's pretty easy all you're going to want to do is just make sure to hear a clicking sound and once you hear that clicking sound you should be good to go and right there boom bam as you saw i placed it in there a simple install nothing too hard nothing too difficult and make sure again that you're wearing an anti-static wrist bracelet just so you don't harm your components or yourself what you got to make sure that your stuff is safe now after that you just place back the screw and the ssd is in there and you should be good to go from here you're just going to want to go into the bios and i'm going to show you here right quick how to do that you're going to want to hold down shift and press restart at the same time and that should take you to a page okay and you're going to want to press troubleshoot after that you go into advanced option then you go to uefi firmware settings and after that it should take you right into the bios now for me personally i do have an ace rock motherboard so what i did for my thing to check that it, the mvme was being detected i went into mvme configuration and made sure that it was detecting the mvme and then after that i went directly into storage configuration and made sure that the ssd was also being detected as you can see my other memory storages are there also and then now after that what i did was i went into system settings and i searched up disks and what you're going to find is a setting in there called create and format disk partitions and this is what you're going to want to do with a new ssd so for every new ssd you have to partition it first and then after you partition it right where it says extend volume usually it'll say new volume and that's what you're going to want to click and then after you go through some things and rename it i particularly named my ssd m.2 and then after that you should be good to go to download games and music and all anything you want so your ssd should be good to go after that now this is only for adding more ssd on top of the SSD they have. Okay, so there it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This isn't a guide. This is just a pre... kind of like a preview of what how I installed my SSD specifically for my PC. Maybe some of you guys have a similar PC to mine. Or maybe you guys also have a pre-built PC and maybe you wanted to add an extra SSD. So it, this process is similar to what you would do or is what you would do to install your SSD, especially if you're just installing a new SSD to add on to your old SSD that's already in there, or maybe you're just first time buying an SSD. Uh, either way, like I said, it's a nice addition to my PC. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Now the model for my PC specifically, let me just be clear, is the model BB973. So if you do have that, this video is kind of for you. It's not a guide, like I said, but it is kind of me showing you how an SSD installation would look like. It's pretty simple, neat, and fast. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Uh, goodbye.